My goodness, you're so sweet. Is there a chair around here? Can I sit on a chair for this? I'm worried you can't see me down the back. It'll be fine, right? Wow, this is so beautiful. I'm so grateful you're here with us tonight. This is another song from Melodrama that I want to play for you. Oh my goodness, there's a chair. Thank you. Wow. Cool. And uh, this is one of the earliest songs that we wrote, actually. It's, uh, I like you are just up there. Oh, you're in the cool t-shirt. He's just, there's a guy up there just doing like a raise the roof for one of the saddest songs on Melodrama, which I respect. <laughs> um, I'm tangling my hair. This was one of the earlier songs we wrote, and uh, it's one that means a lot to me, and I think is gonna mean a lot to me for a long time. Some of the songs you write are about emotions that you've been feeling for a long, long time. Royals was the kind of song that I had been thinking about the ideas that were expressed in Royals for like two years. And this song was like the most potent hour of last year. <laughs> it was just like, I had to get it down. It was the craziest feeling. And it's not a feeling that visits me often, but uh, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget. Uh, I remember I, I, sometimes you just gotta get out of the house and go for a walk. It feels so terrible, whatever you're going through. And I remember I went on this walk. It was such an angry walk. And I wanted to walk for as long as I could. I got kind of far, I think I got like eight or 10 kilometers, which is what, four miles or something, three miles. And I called an Uber. <laughs> um, um, and I got in this Uber and it was like a real like rattly tin Uber. Like they don't have fancy Uber in New Zealand. It was uh, very low rent. And uh, I was crying, I started crying in the back of this Uber. It was like so, it was the kind of crying where I was like trying to do it really quietly so the driver didn't hear me. He definitely knew I was crying, let's be real. And I, uh, I was listening to Higher by Rihanna. Does anyone know that song? Yeah. You take me higher, higher than I've ever been, babe. No idea that actually worked with those chords. I just tried that. I, uh, let's stay up late and smoke a J. I hope I ain't calling you too late. Wow, interesting. Okay. It is different chords. It's different chords. But uh, I listened to that song and I was just crying. And, uh, because, and I was crying because... He was feeling this very specific feeling of being too much for somebody. It's a very strange feeling when you feel like you're too much, like you're taking up too much space. And I felt like, I was like, no one could ever love me for all that I am because I'm, I'm a lot, you know, I'm, I'm a writer. <laughs> I may write a song about you. You may discover there's a small conversation that we had that is like now a pop song. Which I think must be a really interesting, unique feeling for people, you know. Um, but on top of that, I'm a lot, you know. I feel everything so deeply. And that's really what melodrama is about, is the depth of emotion, especially when you're 19 or 20. Um, so I was feeling this very specific feeling. And I wrote a song about it with my friend Jack Antonoff uh, from Bleachers. I hope he's listening to this on the radio right now. He couldn't be here. I would have loved for him to be here with you. But uh, we wrote this song in Los Angeles at a beautiful studio called Conway. A very similar place to this, actually. Is, there's palms and it's very beautiful. And uh, it's funny, ever since I wrote that song, I felt such a suit of armor. There's such a force field between me and that feeling. It's like writing this song helped me celebrate being too much, you know, rather than uh, 
makes me feel powerful now. And I, and I want you to, uh, this is my one uh, moment where I talk to you like a camp counselor. I'm sure, you know, if you listen to my music, there's probably moments where you feel like you're a little much, you know. Maybe you're an intense person. Maybe you walk into a room and you bring a lot with you swirling around. But I want you to know that you are not too much. You are perfect. And I'll always be your friend, I promise. <laughs> All of you. This is liability. Woo!